Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this circular rainbow seed beads bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure that even if you're a beginner after this video you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And in this way, you will know when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets. If you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links to Amazon where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and links for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 8 colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o seed beads and even 8 o beads. Whatever you have, you could use less colors if you don't have that much colors. But the idea here is uh, a rainbow bracelet. Okay, here I use a lobster's claw clasp and a gem ring. You could use any type of clasp you like. Here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And I'm going to start with about half an arm span of thread on my needle. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm starting with picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. And now, guys, I have my 12 on my needle. Here you see 12, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made. And I pull, and this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and then I'm making one more knot and when I pull I make sure here that I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and then I pull okay and I want to go through two seed beads in this direction okay now I have this circle of beads. And now guys, I'm going to start by adding three yellow beads. And one black bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down like this. Now I'm going to skip the black one and I will go through these three yellow beads and also through the following black. This one is skipped, I'm not going through it. I'm making something like a loop around it here, you see. And in this way, this holds back these three beads, these three yellow beads and I'm exiting out of my next black in my inner circle and now I'm going to take three light orange beads and one black bead. Okay and I'm sliding those down like this. Now here I'm doing the same thing, skipping those three orange beads and going through the following black and this one is like in a loop holding these three beads, okay? And then I'm taking three dark orange beads, one black bead, slide this down, okay? Then skip this one, go through the orange beads and through the black, okay? After that, it comes the red one, okay? Take three red beads, 
slide those down, take one black, okay, skip the black one, go through these three beads and also through the following black, okay. Then you see, after this uh, red bead, it, uh, I need to have orange again, dark orange. Here my colors smoothly go from one to another, like with this rainbow effect. So when you look at them at a distance, they look like a rainbow. Okay, then it's time for the light orange and the black as well. Skip the black, go through the orange beads and through this one here, okay. After that, of course, I need again yellow. Okay, slide this yellow. And the yellow is a transition between my orange red colors and my green colors, okay. So I'm going through this yellow and through the following black. And now I'm going to continue with the greenish scale of colors, okay. Three light green beads and one black. Slide those down. Again, the same thing like I did before. Pull. Then a little bit darker green. And black. Slide down. Go through those green beads, skipping the black one, okay. Then the darkest green, okay, like this. Slide down. Go only through the green beads and through the following black. Just like this. Then it comes the lighter color of green to have a slight transition. Okay, like this. Slide down. Skip the three greens. Go here. And the last one is this light green that slightly goes into yellow. Okay. Now guys, what I do is that I want to go at the edge here and I want to exit through one of my black beads, okay? this okay I will turn my work around okay like this and now I'm going to start taking black beads okay I have two blacks and I want to go only through these edge beads here going through the edge bead and pull then take two more edge beads And go through it, go through the following, two more, go here, and in this whole row I, I'm going to be adding black beads, okay, 
adding black beads. Okay guys, and I'm going to do this off camera and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and pay, pay attention, when I pull in this last row, I will have a slight bend to the, to my work and I like it so much. If you don't like it, try putting 10 o beads at the edge at this whole outer row. And I think if you put 10 o's, there will be no problem. If you're using 11 o's, I mean, and put 10 o's at the edge, you won't have this bend. Okay, but I really much enjoy this slight bending effect. I think it looks cool on your bracelet, like extrude effect or something like this. Okay, now I will go around here the edges of my work. And um, what I want to do is exit here between this green and this yellow bead. And here is where I'm going to attach my clasp. And I'm taking here my clasp and I want to attach it in this way because the bend is in this direction and I want to be the top part. And that's why I'm going to attach this clasp in this direction. Okay, and now I'm going to take three seed beads and I'm going through my clasp and pull. And I'm going to take three more beads. And I will go here around these two bits that are just between the yellow and the green one. Okay. And I will go here around reinforcing my work. Okay, and after I reinforce my work, what I want to do is go here through some beads and make a knot. Okay, let's say I'm exiting here and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once and going second time through this loop I made and I pull. Then I will go in my following seed bead. Then I'm going to cut my thread. And now you see the first element of my bracelet is ready. Now I will make another element and I will be back to tell you how to assemble them. Okay guys, and I just did my second element and I still haven't cut my thread. That is why, because I want to connect this element to this one, to the first one with this thread I have here. And you see where I'm exiting. My thread is here, if you don't see this, between this green and this yellow row. And you see how my work is turned. Here where the orange and reds are, I put my greens and um, I enter them to have this beautiful flip of colors okay and now in my next step what I want to do is take two black beads I will put this down for a while and I want to go here so I'm between those two uh, beads and I'm putting two more beads here between them okay like this and before I do this, of course, I reinforced my work several times, okay? Now, 
I'm going out of this black bead, okay? Okay, and now I want to connect this one to this one. And how I find the place where I connect them, you see here where my clasp is attached. And I count one, two, three, four, five, six beads from here. And one, two, three, four, five, six beads from here. So the place where I should connect them is here. Okay, I go here. And I go back here through these beads. So find the opposite place for a connection and make sure that the green and the orange red part are in the opposite parts of your work, okay? And now guys, after I connected those elements, it's time to cut my thread, okay? And I'm cutting it by going through some beads in this direction. I'm making a knot by making here a loop and going once and going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and after that I go through several beads and by the way I might continue making more and more knots just to be sure everything is nice, tight and secure. And after I'm finished with my knots, I go through the following C bead and cut my thread. Okay, guys, and in the same way, I will continue making more and more elements. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay, guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. And here I just connected my last seventh element you could add eight or more elements but i'm adding seven here okay i just connected it and now i'm going to show you how to finish your bracelet after i connected it i'm going here in this inner black circle of my last element and i want to go all around this circle of beads like that if, and if you want to see where exactly to add your jump ring which is the final step of my work it is the same thing one two three four five six beads one, two, three, four, five, six beads, and I'm going to add it here between the orange and the yellow. And it will be exactly here at this side, okay? And I'm going to take six beads. Okay, I have my six here on my needle. And I'm going to take my jump ring like that. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going back in circle through these two beads that are between my orange and my yellow. Okay, and I reinforce this part here, and now it's time to make a knot. And I will make a knot by going here through some beads in this direction. And here I want to make a loop like that. And I'm going once 
and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I will go in my following seed bead and I, I could do more and more knots to reinforce my work but now I will finish it like this and there I go through the following seed bead I'm going to cut my thread okay and now guys my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified when I release new absolutely free upcoming videos I do this twice a week and sometimes in Saturdays I release third video bonus video okay and if you want to support me you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will see a full list of materials links to my store link for paypal donations and amazon links where you could buy supplies from thank you so much for watching bye bye from me